Welcome to this video for T-Term, Terminal Emulator for iPad. My name is Jordan Fonseca and I'm the Product Manager for T-Term at TurboSoft. In this video I'm going to be showing you through our new release, T-Term version 1.1. This is our first iOS 7 release and it includes a lot of updates and user requested features. Perhaps the most useful addition to this new version of T-Term is our enhanced keyboard support, in particular for Bluetooth keyboards. For the first time, thanks to changes in iOS 7, we've been able to include the ability to capture certain Bluetooth key presses. Key presses like control key combinations and the escape key, both of which are extremely important for users who are working on command line based systems. We've also added key mapping. Key mapping allows users to control and edit the links between their Bluetooth keyboard and the equivalent keys on an emulation keyboard. In this example I'm mapping a key that doesn't exist on a Bluetooth keyboard, the reset key from an IBM 5250 emulation, and I'm going to map this to the escape key on my Apple wireless keyboard. Another small but handy keyboard related feature in T-Term 1.1 is the new simulated caps lock for the on-screen keyboard. In previous versions of T-Term, double tapping the on-screen shift key locks every key to its shifted state. Tapping shift again releases that lock state. In version 1.1 we've also added a triple tap to the shift key, which locks only the A to Z keys in uppercase, just like a traditional caps lock. This leaves the numbers and other keys in their normal state, and was requested by a number of users whose host applications require uppercase input only. Alongside SSH and Telnet, T-Term 1.1 now includes support for Hewlett-Packard's network services and virtual terminal protocol. This is a proprietary protocol used to connect to Hewlett-Packard systems such as the HP 3000 and is available in the Pro version of T-Term. The virtual terminal protocol is something that's been in our Windows product TTWin for a number of years, but this is its first appearance on an iPad. For administrators looking to mass configure and deploy T-Term in a school or business environment, we've introduced a couple of features to make your job easier. Access settings allow you to lock down the app to various degrees and to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive configuration details such as a login or password, or accidental editing by an unskilled or unauthorized user. The default access level is unrestricted and it allows full editing and configuration on connection items without limitation. By entering a four-digit PIN, you can change the access level to restricted. The restricted level locks several critical configuration items relating to login and password settings. This is useful in preventing sensitive details from falling into the wrong hands, for example if an iPad was lost or perhaps stolen. Kiosk mode locks down the app, removing the user's ability to create new connections or to edit, import, or export an existing configuration. Essentially this allows the end user to work only with the connection configurations they are given, and we see it being most useful for devices that are intended to be configured on behalf of less technical end users. In addition to access settings, T-Term 1.1 has a built-in import and export mode. This allows all connection and configuration settings, including access settings, to be exported to a single file. Once again this action is pin protected. This file can then be accessed through iTunes and transferred to new iPads, either through iTunes, the Apple Configurator, or other mobile device management tools. When T-Term detects this file, it silently imports a list of configurations and sets the access level specified. This takes a lot of the hard work out of setting up T-Term on a large number of iPads. Finally, copy and paste functionality has been added to the terminal screen. Copy and paste can be triggered by long pressing the terminal screen and selecting one of the available copy modes, either continuous for line by line marking, or rectangular to select an irregular area. Copy and paste actions can now also be added to hotspots, our automated button elements. Hotspot actions now include selecting, copying, and pasting text. In this particular example, a hotspot is set to appear on the text Quit. Once this button is pressed, 
the hotspot actions of selecting, copying and pasting text would be executed. T-Term 1.1 is now available on the App Store, starting from just $9.95 for the standard version. For more information, visit www.ttwin.com or email info at tterm-app.com.